Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to set up your Nano Ledger S so it can connect with your MetaMask. By setting up your Ledger with your MetaMask, you add an extra layer of security. So, after you've completed the setup, all transactions from your MetaMask wallet will require you to physically push the buttons on your Nano S. A lot of people these days keep thousands of dollars on their MetaMask wallet, which at the end of the day is just a Chrome browser extension. Also, I've timestamped this tutorial, so if you want to jump ahead, please do so. Okay, so let's get started. So here's my box for my Nano Ledger S. All right, so I wanna get started, get, get set up really quickly. All I'm gonna do is plug this in for the first time. So plug it in, plug that into my computer like that okay and it's gonna just click click the button see there's two buttons one here one here okay click that button and press left or right to navigate so let's go right press both buttons to validate okay get started at set up as a new device so i'm going to double click with two of my fingers together bump choose a pin code okay so i'm going to choose a pin code all right, so I'll just do that off screen. And to confirm the pin code, I click like that. Okay, and then two fingers together and I push down. Okay, confirm pin code. All right, so I'll just do that off screen. And confirm it. Three, two, one. Okay. Done. Now I have to write down my recovery phrase in my computer. All right. So I'm going to push this button here. You can see there's a little arrow. So I push that button. Okay. Like this. And it's going to tell me the word number one. Okay. And now what I do is I get my piece of paper and I write down the word into my book, okay? Okay, so I've written all those words down. Now it's gonna ask me to confirm my recovery phrase. I'm gonna press those two buttons at the same time. So I'm gonna take that off the screen now. Okay, and then I ask you, these 24 words are your only backup? Cool. And keep them in a safe place. So, where's your only backup? Okay, cool. Keep them in a safe place. Cool. Never share them with anyone. Press both buttons to continue. John. Okay, and now it's processing. Excellent. Your, vi your device is now ready. Okay, guys, well done. So now all I have to do is get on to Ledger Live. Okay, guys, so just go to the Ledger website. I'll put the link in the description. Go to Downloads, Link, and download the app onto your computer. Okay, after downloading the app, you'll need to open it up and set up your password. It is going to ask you to allow Ledger Manager on your device. So just click your physical Nano S, two buttons at the same time. So what you'll want to do first is to update your firmware. Check the button, go through all the steps and then press both buttons on your physical Nano S device to finish up. Now go to the manager and install the Ethereum app. By the way, this will also work on Ethereum and BSC network as well. I haven't tested it on Matic, but I'm sure it would be fine too. Okay, time to create an account. Open Ethereum on your physical Nino S device.
give it a name and done. Now let's check our receiving address. Click on Receive, Continue, and note the address. Starts with an OX4D and finishes with a 16CF. Now it's time to use your MetaMask and connect to our freshly set up Nano Ledger S. Click Account, click Connect Hardware Wallet. Then connect to Ledger. Select your account you created earlier on Ledger Live app. Here's the screenshot, the one I created. And unlock. I'm just going to rename my account Ledger2. Just one thing, before you can use your Nano S with MetaMask, you'll need to change your contract data in settings. First, open your Ethereum app, click Settings, Contract Data to Allowed. Now you are all set to go. Now let's do a quick test transaction with our newly set up MetaMask and Nano S. I'm going to send a little BNB between my accounts to test it out. Click confirm. Now on your device, let's check. All right, now, on my device, it's going to ask me to confirm that. Okay, so I click, tells me the some information about where I'm sending it, my fees, and now I double click to accept. Okay, and now it's pending. Perfect. Our transaction was successfully sent, and now our MetaMask has an extra layer of security. I hope you could get something useful from this video. If you enjoyed the content, please consider leaving a like and a comment. By the way, let me know if you want me to create any other videos related to crypto in the comments. Thank you very much, and have a good one. Bye for now.